Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to discuss about energy efficiency of an internal combustion electric vehicle and a normal electric vehicle. This is a very important concept to be discussed to find out the energy efficiency of an electric vehicle or an internal combustion engine. So let's try to first find the energy efficiency of an internal combustion engine and compare the properties with an electric vehicle then you can understand which is having higher energy efficiency let's try to understand so actually let's try to discuss about energy efficiency analysis of an ic engine okay so energy efficiency analysis of internal combustion engines at different driving conditions basically let's try to do for overall view and then we'll go for the each individual driving conditions we have city driving highway driving and we have normal city driving for electric vehicles also let's try to have an uh, energy efficiency of an ic and electric combinedly okay so basically you're going to have an a fuel tank this one block where this acts as an input for an internal combustion engines from this fuel tank it's connected to engine okay so here we are not drawing all the blocks only the blocks which are related with energy efficiency are drawing it so the fuel is 100 percent let's assume that let's try to do some mathematical calculation in the fuel tank 100 percent of the fuel is available and the complete fuel is available at the engine end and from the engine we are going to have some sort of losses and from the engine also we have a little bit losses that's due to some mechanical loss are there in the engine due to it is made up of some gearbox we are going to get engine loss i'm considering this engine loss in normal driving mode as 62 percentage and next loss in the engine i'm going to experience where this loss is called standby losses okay and this loss i am going to consider this as uh, some 17 percent of loss why this uh, standby loss are there so when you turn on the ic engine we cannot uh, turn off it at regular traffic signals okay so therefore we cannot uh, at all traffic signals we cannot uh, on the engine or we cannot uh, off the engine with the help of a uh, engine will switch okay so if you do regularly perform this uh, on and off of the engine uh, the mileage will fall down so therefore what we are going to do is uh, we are going to run the vehicle under normal just engine is on and the vehicle is consuming some power therefore these kind of losses are called as a uh, standby losses and due to this gear mechanism some losses are there and these losses are called as a uh, engine losses or which are also this engine loss or in the form of an uh, heat loss okay or the loss generated due to heat and these are the 17 percent losses so and when you take uh, the mathematical calculation so 100 is equal to 17 plus 62 and how much have to add is nothing but 21 percentage so 21 plus 7 is 29 and remaining if you add which is equal to 100 therefore the output of the engine we are having only 20 one percentage is the efficiency available from the engine and from this engine we are going to connect directly to the motor with the help of uh, inbuilt driving so now we are going to have the drive system which also consists of some sort of um, gear in that system this is called a drive line system in this drive line system also we have some sort of uh, since it is made up of gears we are going to have some sort of uh, drive line losses okay so these are nothing but uh, the mechanical losses uh, and we call this mechanical losses as a drive line losses and this constitute <coughs> to a percentage of uh, approximately six percentage is the loss so resultant is we have 21 and in this drive line due to gear mechanism six percent is lost the left percentage is uh, 15 so 15 plus 6 is 21 percentage so now we have to show how this 15 percent is loss therefore on the wheels we are going to have how much amount of loss on the wheels of an electric vehicle we are going to have only 15 percent of the energy is there on the 
wheels so now to this drive wheel we are having uh, the wheels of the engine so you have the wheels of the engine like this and total energy available is only 15 percentage and from here how this 15 percent is uh, wasted is we have 5 percentage 5 percentage as well as 5 percentage and resultantly we are going to have an aerodynamic so how the structural design of the vehicle is there that is called aerodynamic design of the structure if it's not properly designed i am considering this loss as a some 5 percentage loss and this vehicle will be moving on the road and this road is also having some sort of road resistance it depends upon the type of road it may be concrete road it may be an tar road so based on that you are going to have some rolling loss which will constitute one more five percentage and here we are going to have one more loss which is nothing but the braking loss so we continuously apply the brake to control the speed of a vehicle so ultimately this is five percentage so this loss are not fixed it changes upon the how you drive your vehicle so ultimately you can see here the net amount of energy available in an wheels of a vehicle is only 15 percentage so this is all about uh, the energy efficiency of an internal combustion engine so this is called energy efficiency of an internal combustion engine so very let's try to recall it so we have a fuel of efficiency of 100 percentage and when is this 100 percent fuel is applied to the engine so this engine is going to create some sort of heat loss which is major loss which is nothing but 62 percentage and the engine is on why because we cannot regularly turn on and off the engine at all the time at different traffic signal that's why we will make it to run in steady state condition therefore it is going to constitute a loss of 17 percentage therefore 17 plus 21 plus 62 is 100 percentage the net amount of energy available at drive line is only 21 and this drive line is made up of some sort of mechanical gears therefore you are going to have a mechanical loss and these mechanical loss are also called as uh, the drive line losses which constitute 6 percentage in 21 percentage 6 percent is lost uh, the left percentage is uh, 5 plus 5 plus 5 this is the resultant efficiency available at the wheels of an electric vehicle so that's how this 5 also depends upon the road aerodynamics and rolling resistance of the road as well as uh, how you apply the brake so this is all about the energy efficiency of an internal combustion engine this normal mode of operation is nothing but energy efficiency analysis of an energy efficiency analysis of an internal combustion engine at normal driving mode so when you try to drive on a normal road or a normal driving condition so this is how the curve we are going to have at the analysis so try to come with energy efficiency comparison with different power trends okay now let's try to have energy loss created by an ic engine so this is the energy efficiency analysis of our internal combustion engines at city driving mode okay so in city driving mode we have some uh, minimum loss only and we have a lot of uh, standby loss also let's try to consider how the behavior or energy efficiency analysis is performed for an electric vehicle i mean for an uh, ic engine at city driving conditions let's try to check it out check out it now so coming to here so here also we have the fuel tank So, you can see the similarly what you have studied there, we will also having here. So, you have an uh, fuel tank and output of the fuel tank is connected to the engine input and engine is going to have already discussed which is nothing but uh, engine losses and this engine losses in city driving it is going to constitute very high. Why? Because continuously the engine will be on. So to travel 10 to 15 kilometers in the city itself we have to keep the engine for more time in on that's why it constitutes more engine loss 
and the standby time the traffic signal is also larger here that's why you have to keep your vehicle in standby for longer time and uh, then compared to towns in cities we have to make it in standby time in lesser time that's why it consists of uh, eight percent only and the remaining loss i mean the remaining amount of energy net amount of energy available at the output of engine is 16 degrees let's try to do the mathematical calculation here 100 is equal to 8 plus 16 plus 76 which is equal to 100 so now the net energy available at the output of the engine is only 16 degrees and 16 percentage and from the 16 percentage we are giving all this energy to the drive line drive line is nothing but on to the wheels or the transmission line so here we have the transmission or transmission gearbox and this is also going to constitute the loss as already we discussed it is going to create a drive line losses so this drive line loss percentage is generally due to the mechanical loss which are created due to ball bearing or uh, bearings or we have gear mechanism so this we are going to constitute as uh, some three percentage and the net 16 minus 3 is again 13 percentage is available and this torque is available at the wheels of an electric vehicle and here we have our uh, electric vehicle sorry we have our uh, IC engine and the net amount of torque available is only 13 in this 13 again we have additional losses eh? as already discussed in above we have a part of loss due to aerodynamic structure okay so the aerodynamic loss for this city driving is around three percentage and this vehicle will be rolling on the road therefore we are going to have a rolling resistance loss okay this rolling resistance loss will constitute an approximately four percentage and braking okay so in city we have good road grip and the tires are also uh, have let's assume that they are in good condition automatically we have good uh, rolling resistance is minimum and aerodynamic structure it depends why because uh, the aerodynamic designs upon the type of vehicle we are using and we need to apply some more braking uh, especially in cities that's why we are going to have more braking loss which is going to constitute around six percentage let's try to do the mathematical analysis 13 is equal to 3 plus 4 plus 6 6 plus 4 is 10 10 plus 3 is 13 so this is all about energy efficiency analysis of an internal combustion engine with respect to city driving mode or city driving condition let's try to have a clarity so fuel tank is 100 percent available from the fuel tank the power is available to the engine and the engine is going to create 8% of loss and engine loss of 76% the resultant amount of energy available at output of the engine is 16 and the 16 we are trying to give to the transmission which is called drive line and this drive line also consists of some gearbox this gearbox is going to create some sort of mechanical loss which is again 3% and resultant available at the shaft is only 13 percentage in this 13 percentage again 3 plus 4 plus 6 so this 3 is due to aerodynamic structure of the vehicle and 4 depends upon the type of road grip you have on the road which is called rolling resistance and braking loss of 6 percentage this is all about the energy efficiency analysis of an internal combustion electric vehicle at city driving mode of operation let's try to see the same energy loss i mean energy efficiency analysis in an highway driving so in highway driving we have better quality why right? because less stops are there and we no need to change the gear and clutch for a longer time so if you turn on the last gear the vehicle can propel with the required or the maximum mileage let's try to see this also so now when you come here the we are going to perform energy efficiency analysis
of internal combustion vehicle at highway driving so let's try to do the same calculation so just remember the upper one if you understand one analysis all this analysis remains same so let's try to draw the diagram so you can see here here we are going to have the similarly are going to have a fuel tank here and output of the fuel tank is connected to the engine and the output of the engine is going to be under stand alone mode of operation or standby mode of operation and then engine also has some sort of a engine losses which is called the mechanical losses this is going to constitute an 77 percentage and standby so generally if you are running in highway the vehicle won't need to be in standby why because there is no traffic so you can see here better efficiency you are going to get here in fuel tank let us assume that the energy available is 100 so when you perform the calculation so 100 is equal to 77 plus the remaining is 23 okay so therefore in city driving you have more amount of energy is available on the shaft and this 23% of the energy we are going to apply on the drive line of our machine so this is nothing but the drive line which is nothing but calls also called as transmission and this drive line also creates some loss where these losses are called drive line losses and this drive line losses constitute a loss of 4 percentage and this drive line is available and the net amount of energy from 23 is equal to 4 plus so how much we need to add to get it which is nothing but 19 percentage 19 plus 4 is 23 automatically the net you can see here related compared with city driving or highway driving so remaining a normal convention you have more amount of energy is available at highway driving in this 19 percentage is the torque available at the wheels of an ic engine and again this 19 percent may also create some loss first one is due to aerodynamic structure of the vehicle aerodynamic structural losses here i am assuming this as some 10 degrees and in we have good tar roads and we are going to have the rolling resistance which is created which is approximately some 7 percentage and next we have we don't apply more brake in highway therefore the losses due to braking is 2 percentage now we can see here 19 is equal to 10 plus 7 is 17 17 plus 2 is 19 so this is all about the energy efficiency analysis of an ic engine at a different you can see here almost all all are same so fuel tank engine standby loss engine loss drive line drive line has mechanical loss is called drive line losses and the net amount of energy can compare here here it is 15 percentage is available in normal driving in city driving 13 percentage but in highway you have more amount of uh, percentage is available and the losses on the wheels may be aerodynamic structural losses rolling resistance of road losses and the braking loss the how you apply the brake you can see here in normal drive you apply only 5% brake but in city you apply more brake but in highway you don't apply brake so this is all about eh, the energy efficiency analysis eh, of an ic engine now try to compare with the energy efficiency analysis of an electric vehicle also okay so same we are going to have but we don't have more mechanical components that's why let us try to recall here so we are going to perform energy efficiency analysis for electric vehicle under which type of operation is city driving i'm using this electric vehicle in 
city and then trying to analyze uh, the behavior of this energy efficiency analysis. So when you come here, you can see here, so we don't have fuel tank similar to that of an IC engine, we have only batteries. Okay, so batteries are there, the energy available in terms of uh, watt hour to the batteries, 100% of uh, energy is available in the battery and these batteries are directly connected to the motor, it may be a uh, brushless DC motor depending upon uh, or it may be an permanent magnet synchronous motor. So this motor we are very clear from electrical engineering, this motor also has uh, some constant loss or motor loss, this combinedly I am going to call it as uh, iron loss as well as copper loss. This iron loss is once again hysteresis loss and eddy current loss. This copper loss are current dependent loss which are called as uh, I square R losses and the output of the motor assume that this creating some constant loss of 10% uh, as the loss. So and the resultant, resultant available is 90%. Uh, okay. So when you compare this, <coughs> so 100 is equal to 10 plus 90, you can see the amount of torque available. So this 90% of energy we are going to apply to our drive line which consists of uh, differential, definitely we require a differential uh, to split the torque and from this drive line we are going to have some drive line loss and this drive line losses which are also called as mechanical losses or once again 14 percentage. Now do the mathematics, 90 is equal to 14 plus 76, therefore the resultant torque available at the output of the electric vehicle is 76 percentage, you can see the efficiency how and from this drive line is directly connected to the wheels of an electric vehicle. So this is connected to the wheels of an electric vehicle and 76 percent of the torque is available and once again the torque, I mean the torque or the power which is available is 76 percent of energy is available. So this will also be lost due to aerodynamic structure of the electric vehicle which is around 29 percentage and this electric vehicle will be rolling on the road which is nothing but the rolling resistance which is around 35 percent of the loss and next one braking. So braking loss we apply the brakes you can see here this is 11 percentage. So try to compare which is more efficient from all this comparison you can see which is more efficient. So the net amount of here it is only 13 degrees 13 percentage here it is only 19 percentage but when you compare with an electric vehicle 76 percent of the torque or the power is available or the energy is available at the output of an drive line of an electric vehicle. Okay, So that is why electric vehicle has higher energy efficiency than compared to the remaining methods. Okay, And coming to this uh, we have the battery and these batteries generally are of swappable batteries or permanent mag batteries. So just this uh, motor will have constant loss, this only 10 percentage, we cannot do anything. 90 percent of the power is available at the drive line, but drive line has some sort of a mechanical loss, why because uh, the total torque available at the motor, we have to split it into two torques to propel the back or the front wheels of an vehicle, that is why a torque splitter we are going to have 14 percent of loss and resultantly the net amount of energy available is 76 percentage, that is why I can conclude the energy efficiency analysis of an electric vehicle is higher than compared to any other IC engine which comes into the picture. Electric vehicle can perform better with energy efficiency analysis. This is all about the energy efficiency analysis of different IC engine. So we compared with IC engine at normal road, IC engine at city driving, IC engine at highway driving and compared with electric vehicle. So all these are performing better. So what is the overall view which is having high energy efficiency electric vehicle that is what the conclusion of the class. If you feel the content is useful please
give a like and if you have any doubts mention your doubts in the comment section and subscribe the channel which will help us to do more videos on electric vehicle thank you hope we'll meet in the next video and we'll be having the next one is uh, the concept of hybrid electric drive train this is very important so this is the end of uh, energy efficiency analysis of electric vehicle we'll continue in the next session thank you